function e to the x over 2. So the graph here, and it says uh, in the end we'll have to find the area under this curve from 0 to ln 2. But it first asks, where does the graph meet the y-axis? So that's at the y-intercept, where x is 0. So e to the 0 over 2 is e to the 0, which is 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. So the y, uh, y-intercept is 1. Then it says write down an integral expression that represents the volume of the solid. So that's uh, integral from start to finish, pi r squared. And the radius is just the y value, so pi y squared. So we get e to the x over 2 squared dx. Now this is very convenient. This, the over 2, you maybe initially think that it's going to make it difficult. But actually, I'll bring the pi out here. But actually, it makes it nice because that squared and half can cancel, so I'm left with e to the x. So this is probably what the mark scheme asks for. I'm not sure if they would give you um, one off or leaving it unsimplified like that. But this is probably what they want for part b. Now, um, so it's just pi r squared. So now we need to just take the integral. So the integral of e to the x is very nice. It's the same thing from 0 to ln 2. So I have pi e to the ln 2 minus pi e to the 0. e to the ln 2, those e and ln is, are inverses of each other, so those, um, those just sort of go away. So we get 2 pi, or pi times 2, minus e to the 0. Well, we just did that. It's 1, so that's pi. And that simplifies to pi, obviously pi units cubed.